Ivy League atmosphere, a place where you could really grow academically. Shark walks with you. Shit, I'll walk with you too. Is that good? Holly, what do you do? Come through. Hey, the Eric's Bree. Yes, honey. Happy motherfucking Friday. Happy motherfucking Friday. I wish a girl could have a drink, but it's too many calories. Melissa, what do you do? Christy. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome. Come in. Come in. It's free. Come kick it with me. Come in, ladies. Come in. I'm going to wait a few minutes. Make sure y'all hit that like button when y'all walk through the door. Y'all, I'm letting y'all in my house. Y'all can't even hit the like button when y'all come over. It's just, man. Hey, Miss Official A. Shut up, Melissa. Because I got some 1800 in there right now. <laughs> I'm going to have one tonight. Thanks, Miss Official. That motherfucker called some stacks. <laughs> I don't give a fuck in the house. Tell him. Tell him to hit that like. Hey, Rhonda, what it do? The block is hot, huh? YouTube streets has been popping. But that ain't what I'm here for. Y'all know it already. Thank you, guys. That's an aquarium, you guys. Those are live coral in that piece. Every time my husband go to to um the aquarium, the 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 fish place, y'all, I said they know you coming in there to spend some money. They gonna get your ass every time you walk through the door. He come back, y'all, with some with with new ish. It is salt water. Yep, it's salt water. Take it, you, I don't give a fuck. No, she on. Oh, yes, baby, that's salt water. Y'all want to get closer? Y'all want to see it a little closer before I get started with this haul? Thank you. Y'all, we, we've always had fish. Um, we've always had salt water fish tanks. We had one for about seven years. The fish in the tank had got this big, you guys. You know... Hey, Toy Boo, you know, the longer that you have your tank and the longer, the bigger that it is, the bigger your fish can grow. Let's see. We can get closer. Oh, we started decorating, y'all. We started. We started. We, we One step in the right direction, right? Y'all, look at Dory. That's Dory. Nemo, some they got one of the Nemo's back there. These are all live. That's a, that little tree looking thing, you guys. It's alive. This is called this right here. This is called an alien, an alien hand. Right here. Do y'all see that right there on there? Can y'all see that thing? I forgot the name of all this shit, y'all. This is my husband thing. But that thing right there is what eats a lot of the algae in the tank. That's an alien head. These are all alive, y'all. Y'all should see. Yes, it is an algae eater. Look, I don't give a fuck. Help me, girl. I don't even know if it's a girl. I don't give a fuck. Are you a girl or are you a man or a woman? Hey, queen. Yes, come through. Just Tiffany. Hey, boo boo. Okay, so like I was saying, these are all live coral, you guys. Um, when the lights go off, they like go to sleep. Okay, I don't give a fuck. Thank you. Gina, thank you. I like Gina. We cool, Gina. Okay, these are all alive, you guys. And when the light goes off, they go to sleep. They, like, close up. They are not this big and awake. They shrivel up and look real small-like. 
it's so amazing to me how they're alive y'all if y'all ever get baked and what i i'm just gonna say baked and you can use it however you want to if you ever get baked you can stare at this thing for hours i'm talking what are you doing why are you here in my conversation <laughs> y'all i was i can get stuck here stuck standing right here i have That looked like a brain. It's not a brain. <laughs> this right here, y'all, that little thing right there cost $400. $400 for that. This right here, I ain't even gonna say how much it costs, but they know when that man walk through the door, they gonna get him, y'all. They gonna get, they know. They know. They know they finna get some money. I tell them every week, take me with you. Otherwise, it's a setup. Come on, y'all. We got 20 people in the house or some people in the bushes. Can somebody, can I get some likes on this piece? Say my name. Say my name. Okay, let's see. Thanks, Eric's. I I love the colors too, Queen. But I told them I want some more colors than just the green. Can we get some girl purples up in there can we get some colors for me <laughs> y'all ready for the haul y'all ready to see what i got i think i got on there and went a little crazy can i say to the true family that your girl as of today 14 days in on this diet is down 10 pounds i am 198 pounds I ain't been playing about these meals. It, it has it has not been a joke. Hey, Keish. Thank you. Y'all, I'm 10 pounds down. Can I get some love in this? Can I get some hearts? Thank you, Tiffany, girl. 10 pounds. I'm telling you. Your, 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 your girl got so many vegetables in the refrigerator. You would think. You would think that I was turning into a whole vegetarian or something but i have been on it i'm i'm micro hello april i micromanage everything you hit wonderland under two telling you I'm telling y'all the last time i was 200 anything is when i had my daughter i was 215 pounds and i was 21 years old you know what i'm saying I, I I can't. It ain't good for my bones. It just ain't. It just ain't. So yeah, I am now under the two hundred mark. I am not stopping. Actually, I'm getting a little strict with my diet right now because I have something going on in two weeks. But let's get into this haul, y'all. Y'all ready? Let's see. Your girl lost a rabbit ass mind. If y'all don't know by now, Miss True is a fashion nova holic. They need to come on with the come on and, 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 and hit me up so your girl can get some stuff going. Um, this is Fashion Over, y'all. I just got done doing a cleaning video for y'all, for us, you know. I just got done doing a motivational cleaning video, so hopefully that will help some of us mothers out here get it started at home. I love Fashion Over, too. For a thick chick, I'm going to tell y'all, for thick chicks, because your girl... Cute in the face, thick in the waist. Yeah, that's all me. Um, Fashion Nova jeans are perfect for me. Um, every pair I get, I have never had a problem with the jeans. Um, let's, let's, it, Queen J, when you have any kind of that, that chronic fatigue or chronic pain disorder, would you eat makes a huge difference. What you put in your body makes a huge difference. Anything, anything um, like greasy or something could easily trigger a flare. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. We're gonna bust it. Look, y'all, this this bag is bigger than me. What did she order? Okay. I think somebody broke in the house got on the computer and ordered a whole bunch of stuff in my name 
I don't recall. <laughs> Let me quit lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Gina, I'm lying. I'm lying, Keisha. I'm lying. <laughs> Your girl is lying. Okay. Okay. Yes, she did. Okay. Now, I saw this outfit, y'all, and she had to have her. Let's see what she looked like. I'm going to have to stand up on you. Maybe I should raise my um tripod. What size did you get? You know how big I am already. I guess it don't matter what size. <laughs> okay. I got a 1X in this jumpsuit, y'all. Because my thighs, I can't wait for the day I get my life on. That's my journey right now. My thighs are my thighs. They're mine. They are. I'm trying to find... Okay, yeah, so this isn't the 1X, you guys. Like I said, this outfit right here, too, is from Fashion Nova. It is so comfortable. When you say loungewear, I think I went crazy in the loungewear department. I, I got any more fellow big thigh sisters out there? Go ahead, put your hands up. We represent. We don't die. We multiply. I ain't ashamed. I'm in this game. Four likes, no matter how I come. Yes, big thighs, you know what I'm saying? As long as you know how to work them, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, this is my jumpsuit, y'all. Yes, this is a high Gwen. Okay. So, they having a 40% off sale, y'all. Okay, so this is a jumpsuit, you guys. I should have been at the computer and I could have showed y'all the picture on somebody. This jumpsuit is so freaking dope. And I'm going to tell y'all the image that I have in mind for when I rock this. I'm not going to try it on for you because later on when I go to the event, I'm sure I'm going to post pictures in it. I wonder if I should turn the phone the long way. Let me see something. If it let me. It ain't going to let me now because I'm on it. But y'all, so I definitely have to wear heels with this. I'm loving this. This color is a color that I rock all the time, y'all. It's doing it no justice showing you right here, but it's like got a wide leg on it. So I will have on some heels. Um, I'm going to do the whole layered necklace look. Some big hoop gold earrings, uh, bracelets, you know, cute little clutch. Hair, of course, will be freshly cut. Hey, Miss Mugga. Um, hair will be freshly cut. And it's going to fit, y'all. Don't worry about it. It ain't going to be loose at all. But um, see, it's sheerish on the arms, them legs. I'm going to have to steam it. This was on sale. They had it for 40% off, y'all. I think it was $54. Let's see. Do tags not say what they cost no more? It was $54. I got it for 40% off. So it was, hey, Miss Brown, it was $27. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Y'all, that's going to be so fly when I get in it and in this body and it fall in it. <laughs> You ain't heard me. You ain't hear me. Oh, that chicken, y'all? That chicken was fucking delicious. Angie Edge. The chicken was great, you guys. And I had it again today. I made some, um, what is it, an unwitch? I made that today. I made a dipping sauce. Um, They messed it up. I got to do that again. I have to make that for them again. Okay, so that's one thing down, y'all. Again, that was 40% off. Now, y'all know we at home. I actually got this. Anybody else when they um going when they doing something and you going to the airport, do you buy outfits to wear to the or airport or is it just me? Like you just want to be cute for your your commute, for your trip, you know? You Okay, enough said. So, I got this terry cloth uh gray jogging suit. What well, baby? Um, so I got this terry cloth jogging suit, you guys. I'm a little leery of some terry cloth because I don't want my, you know, it can make your box hot. And I don't need a hot box. 
but this is kind of thin, so I'm good with that. So let me show y'all. So these are just some um, Terry cloth jogging pants. I got a white, I think I ordered a little white tank. I got this in a 1X2, you guys. Hey, Gwen. Yeah, I said a hot box. Don't nobody want no hot box. You finna be in an airport. You finna be on the plane. You, you know, it can make you snatch a little hot. I don't want that. Mm -mm. I want to be comfortable. You gave hot boxing a whole new meaning. <laughs> but you, if you, come on now, put your hand up. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, a hot box. Punani, snatch. That's as far as I'm gonna go, okay? Vagina, vajayj. Putinani. <laughs> I'm saying, you gotta, hey, we women. We gotta be on our shit at all times. We have to think about everything. Okay. And this is a little, you know, the little, the little, um, Terry cloth jogging jacket, something comfortable wear to the airport. I'll probably wear some little J-bones with it, you know. I like to be a little versatile. Okay, next you guys. Okay. All right, so I got some red smether pants, y'all. Some faux leather, you know. Red is my favorite color, if you didn't know, now you know. That's what, I have two favorite colors, well, I'll say four. Black, brown, turquoise, and red are my favorite colors. So I got these, y'all. Ain't them crew, these little leather pants? Look at them. <sighs> Ain't them cute? Because I'm going I'm to be, they going to fit. Don't worry. They going to fit. I will not, Gina. <laughs> I'm gonna wear, we're not yet. I'm gonna wear my, um, what does she call my, um, my Crocs? What did you call my Crocs, Nadia? Rubber, uh, she'll get it in. But yeah, these y'all, these are some red leather pants. All this stuff was 40% off. I got all these pieces, you guys, for $140. Right, Miss Official. They, you know what? They might be in these. They might be in these. But these, you know, I'm going to be somewhere drinking and not even remember that my box is hot. Hey, Erica. But, yeah, I got these, y'all. These, again, for some reason, I'm not seeing prices. But, like I said, everything's 40% off. So, it was really reasonable. If y'all want some jeans, you better get your off. Crocs are just good. LOL, skip one. I'm telling you, they're comfortable. I don't know if it's memory foam or what. Anybody out there like a fresh, I love like a fresh new white shirt. Like, I could wash a, a white shirt maybe two or three times, and I wash whites with whites. I'm OCD, so I wash all white clothes, like white new shirts with white new shirts. Red shirts with red shirts, you know? I'm one of them people. But if I see a shirt looking a little dangy, I'm getting me some new. I got about 10 new white shirts in there. I love a fresh new white shirt. So I got this little... I got this one, you guys. This bodysuit. White bodysuit just to wear under my um jogging suit my terry the red terry cloth jogging suit and i want to say this was probably it wasn't no more than eight bucks as long as it's as long as it stretches hey now hey that's what i'm talking about Hey, Ms. Ramirez. Hey, everybody. I hope everybody is subscribed to my channel that is in this piece with me. Okay, y'all. This is, this is another piece that I'm going to have to. Martha, hey. Another piece that I plan on wearing out, you know, grown folks time. Now, this is going to fix me. This going to fit me like a condom, like a rubber glove, like 
This gonna hug every curve that I got. So you guys, this is like a, a fitted dress, but it's like a little velvet, velvety material, y'all. Let me see something. Not a condom. You know how a condom's supposed to fit. It's supposed to fit every ripple. It's supposed to fit onto something. Yeah, this dress is gonna fit me like that. Look at that. Ain't she pretty? I know, Miss Mother, your girl gonna be out there bad in the good way. You know what I'm saying? She gonna be bad in the good way. So, yeah. I thought this was really cute. This, I'm telling you, everything was 40% off. You cannot go wrong. I like this. And look, it, it got some gifts. Cause it's gonna need some gifts for, <laughs> for that romp. <laughs> got some gifts okay that piece oh i didn't do do as bad as i thought i did it is nadia it is i'm gonna rock that that's gonna be so cute so proof of course i had to get some jeans did I get plus size of these? Oh, I bought some 16s, y'all. I've been in denial about buying 16s. I've been I've been wearing my 14s and and at Fashion Nova I can wear 15s. But since I'm back down 10 pounds, I might have to get these jeans to somebody. These are a 16. I love Fashion Nova jeans, y'all, because the quality is good for us thick leg girls. They stretch. Um, I got so many jeans. I, all my jeans, I want to say, are from Fashion Nova. And these stretch so good. They just look denim, you know. I thought I ordered... Oh, I did. I ordered a sweater to wear... A sweater to wear with my red leather pants. Petite. I'm not sure... You know what? I've never had to look. I'm not sure. They are Nadia. You can dress them up. Hey, Miss Jackson. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. You can you can do so many things with some jeans. You can rock them so many ways. Because um, I don't know what I have in mind just yet. But, y'all, this is the little sweater. That I got to go with my red leather pants. The arm kind of balloons a little bit and gets tight right there. I love that look. Y'all, some of this stuff might be too big. What size is this sweater? This is a large, so I should be all right. We'll see. I'll try it on before I leave. Yeah, that sleeve will give me life. Um, I have you have to look because only jeans that work for me is Levi. It took me forever. Hey, murder show, boo boo. Fashion girl, go look. They got a forty percent off sale right now. Check it out. You can find something. You know, the only thing about Fashion Nova is you have to look. And pay attention to what you're actually putting in your basket because some of the stuff could be a crop top. You know, some of it is cut real low. Um, it depends on the look that you're going for. Oh, um, it's supposed to still be warm where I'm venturing off to. You know, it's supposed to be okay. So I got these little, this clear heel, and this ties up your leg around your ankle. Cause I have bad legs, you guys, because of the fibromyalgia. So I always look for a heel that is gonna be comfort, comforting, comfortable to me also. So this will, this will support Judy the booty you know it'll support all of me comfortably i don't have to be trying to balance on a heel somewhere in a corner because i didn't get a seat you know 
I remember buying American Eagle back in the day. They were a little more pricey. Yes, it, yes they are than pennies and surrounding, but much better and so stretchy. Who did I buy? The um, New York and Company I was buying my jeans from prior to Fashion Nova blowing up. Jupy. Um, who else? Do y'all remember when New York and Company, this might be too old for some of y'all. Remember, I'm 44. Do y'all remember when New York and Company used to be learners? Yeah, me too. I can't, I'm gonna have to try these on at Flex. Yeah, fashion note. Um, I'm gonna go hide this stuff in my closet like I didn't buy nothing. I don't have to. I just do. Why do we do that? I just do it. I don't even have to, but you know, sometimes you just wanna bam on his ass and show him, mm, you know, daddy. <laughs> I still want it. <laughs> Cause we can, right, Miss Muggu? Cause we can. Let me lower this, y'all. Give me a minute. That was the end of that bag. I thought I, it was so heavy. They could have smuggled a kid in that thing as heavy as it was. So I gotta edit, edit the video. So. I, I saw the lives. I'm only going to talk on it briefly. I saw the lives with um, Jasmond. Look what I'm watching. Name that movie. Can you name that movie? <laughs> name that movie. Hold on. Let me clean up my mess. I gotta hide my evidence. I do not. This is a game. I don't have to hide anything. Let me not, let me not play. You know, you can't play too much. You gotta give disclaimers. Look at murder show jump in there. Quick. It's how high. Yep. <laughs> how high. So, um, I saw, okay, I'm not going to lie either, I am too. <laughs> All right, so I, I saw the, li the lives, you guys, popping off today um, because Jasmine is sending pictures of her Punani, Coochie, Snatch, the JJ, Putin Nanny, all of that around the people. Or to what happened? Somebody said it before you. Oh yeah, Angie Ann. Angie Ann was only one she. Oh, so was Miss Muggy. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm slow. I'm delayed. Stinky, stinky nanny. <laughs> Leave it to Nadia. Mm -hmm. So I saw this mess, y'all. I'm not. You know, I've seen. I, I've sent some ish uh, to a man. Mm -hmm. My husband. I sure did. And I sent it first with a disclaimer. Um, I hope you're not around a client because I don't want nobody else to see it. <laughs> we don't need to shock nobody else. This is for your eyes, boo. It's something to look forward to to when you get home. You know, it's waiting. But um, do you use wool light on your dark colored clothes? Uh, colored clothes. It's good. I could, Megan. Um. I could, but I usually watch. Oh, everybody dropping bit. Oh, y'all sharing me up. Y'all so sweet. Come through. Thank you, Murder Show. Thank you, Miss Official. 
Um, I could, but you know, I really wash wear all dark clothes or with dark clothes. I don't wash our clothes with the kid clothes. Um, I hang our clothes versus drawing our clothes. Um, shall I go on? I have problems up in my dome to where I have to do things a certain way. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I don't use wood light. Um, have I ever used it? Yeah, I did. It was just one less thing that I had to buy, though. So, no, I don't use it anymore. Yeah, she said uh, there's news out on Lipstick Alley, but everyone says that they can't be found. So, they think she made it up. I'm OCD with my clothes. Nobody touches my laundry. It's been that way since my teenage years when I started. I mean, we work hard for the stuff that we buy, so we have to take care of it. And, you know, our kids ain't going to understand that, so do not wash my clothes. Let me wash my own shit. But now, Lipstick Alley. Miss Mother, Lipstick Alley is, is nothing. <laughs> Lipstick Alley is where they go and talk shit about any YouTuber. Try to scrape up shit on people's lives. Um, it's sad. That's a sad... Lipstick Alley is a very sad place. <laughs> it really is to me. Um, I, I dare speak their name. Miss Mugger, you ain't missing out on nothing. Life is probably better that way that you don't do social media because people will rip you apart for no reason. Just to be blatantly clear. Um, you could you could be on here just doing a cooking video and people will search through your background just to find out anything or to see anything that they can go talk about. It's sad. The banister is not done, Miss Brown, but you can see some of it. We have to finish. So far, that's what we got going. Um. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We getting started, y'all. Um, but yeah, uh, what was I? To, but yeah, if she made it up, you know, I sometimes wonder. Thank you, Murder Show. Thank you, Miss Jackson. I some I sometimes wonder what these young ladies are searching for. You know, I feel like they need. They need something much more than a man in their life at this point because the type of shit that y'all have going on in y'all life every day is so fucking exhausting to me. Excuse my French, I'm sorry. I've never been a person that liked a, liked a lot of chaos, a lot of commotion, a lot of issues every who has shit? Do people really have shit going on every day in their life? If if if, if that makes me boring, call me boring. And I love to be that way. Something. Um, she said it was blah. I saw that part. I saw that. I saw that. I saw all of that. Asia said if she had the nudes, then the whole sector would have them. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about, Ms. Brown. I, I don't, I can't, that energy is just so fucking consuming. Life is short. And, and maybe that's the issue. Maybe they haven't lost enough in their life to know life is short and you need to be trying to make each day great. <laughs> These girls been doing... Um, I'm 30, but I have old soul and don't mind staying home for real, for real. Hate clubs. Um, Jazz, no friend. Jazz has no friends. She needs attention, apparently. Chris, um, too much time on her hands. Um, and that's sad that she does not have friends. Because I feel like 
every person, every human being needs a friend. You need a friend outside of your significant other. My husband is my best friend. He is, but guess what? I also have, I have girlfriends that I've grown up with. Girlfriends from high school, we still talk and chop it up. I'm like one of them people, no new friends. Like if you've been around me since such and such, that's, I don't need no new people in my circle because people can't be trusted. And it's sad that we have to live that way. Um, I'm sorry, but mother with four kids. Too much time. Uh, just, just Tiffany, you don't, you don't know because you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, this is the way that they, um, this is their livelihood. This is the way that they support their family. So, by any means possible. They need to get that coin. They need to uh, be able to provide. Yeah, keep that circle very small. Nadia. I'm telling you, I remember, y'all. I had kids like that. The same way she got them four kids, I had kids stair step. The only thing that I had time for, I went to work. I probably went to spend time at my mom's house. You know, I picked up the kids, got home, and then you got to grind out at home. When do you have time for any other type of bullshit? I didn't have time for social media. I didn't have time to sit up here and talk to y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She thinks the girl's catfished. I I saw it too, um, Miss Official, but she thinks she has nothing to lose. We all got something to lose. If you don't think you got nothing to lose, then that's sad in itself. That means you don't appreciate what you have if you think you ain't got nothing to lose. I'm very cautious about people around me and I tend to be a, ain't nothing wrong with that Miss Jackson it's not keep your keep your few faithful friends <laughs> she need an imaginary friend <laughs> I'm not playing with you not yet <laughs> Y'all asking a lot of questions I want to know, too. Definitely, Miss Brown. Definitely. But you know what? Back in the day when I used to make my videos, y'all, they considered my videos bashing. Um, when all I was doing was speaking from my perspective because some of the things that y'all did go through, I had been through with having young children, and I was just trying to explain but you know they don't listen to other they don't want to listen to people because of course there are so many people reacting on their life they don't know who to trust you got to keep that in mind too they can't trust anybody just think about no shade against anybody in this room none because I, I i watch reactors i have people that i am close to that are reactors but you got to think about that is that's got to be really fucking depressing to know every time you post a video, somebody going to nitpick through your shit to find something wrong, even if you're just doing a cleaning video. You know what I'm saying? They can... It's sad. Hold on, y'all. I think my husband home. And I done got the evidence out on the couch messing with y'all. Maybe not. Oh no. But that's sad. That's sad. I, I feel I mean you gotta look at it, you gotta try to look at it from every every direction. 
but some um at some point it looks like you can see them i can y'all i need glasses mm-hmm Uh, throw the evidence under the fish tank. <laughs> it ain't that serious, Miss Rocket. <laughs> but that trips me out too, Megan. That trips my shit out so bad. Because it's really other people out here who think like this shit. Like, like this shit is cool that they do. Like, they got people who, who genuinely love them and encourage this foolish ass behavior. You know what I'm saying? Like you really got people out here falling for this shit. Like my girls, I have a 23, a, a 21 and a 19 year old. And half of the time, if I'm listening to something, they be like, oh mama, can you turn that off? <laughs> I get it, Miss Official. I do, I do. I do. I do. I just try to, I, 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 me, the way that I made, I try to look at it from every, every angle. Um, it's unfortunate. It ain't right. A lot of things, the, a lot of things that they do, I still have not done in a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that they do, I have not done in my lifetime. My 44 years on this earth. I would hate to see how all those people live and act. Hey, Desiree, but the, but the crazy shit is, it, 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 it's rooted from, I always say it, y'all, it's rooted from childhood. It's a learned behavior. The, Miss Brown, say it loud for the bitches in the back. Cut differently. For sure, for sure. Being raised the way that we were raised in my mom and dad's house, um, family before anything. And that's the same way I taught my kids. My kids, y'all, I have some of the most, I, 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 I am, believe it or not, a very antisocial MFer. I am, and my kids are the same damn way. <laughs> Nadia, I hate to think that though. I really hate to think that. I think everybody has some some good good attributes in there somewhere. Maybe they have not matured to the point where <laughs> they they understand themselves or they know what's going on in their lives. My eight year old and eleven year old, they know. I'm telling you, it's family over anything. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way that we were raised. And again, it's a it was a learned behavior that I went ahead and taught on to my children. My husband, he was raised differently. So a lot of stuff he had to learn through me. He had to learn through my dad because his dad wasn't around um, his, throughout his life. So the father figure that he had as an adult became my dad. And he picked up a lot of good things from my daddy. My daddy's still around, thank God. But I'm just saying. Then, what did you say, Ju P? Then how her boo cook him something and not her. She was hungry. It, it, that wouldn't have happened in my house. That shit never would have happened. That happened. He cooked him something and didn't cook her nothing. Y'all, if I'm out getting me something to eat, I'm going to call home, baby. Um, Did you eat? You hungry? Because the last thing is that I want is to walk in with my food and you are hungry. So that means I got to go in the kitchen and cook anyways? No. Nah, I'm going to go ahead and handle up right here. Hey, did you eat? Because I'm about to stop and get something. That is a no-go. I ain't see that either, Ms. Brown. I didn't know nothing about that. But no, you will not go in our kitchen and cook something to eat and not see if I am hungry or not. No, no, no. Mm -mm. It's not going down. And it ain't right. That's some selfish ass shit. It's selfishness. That was selfish. 
But another thing that I that I think that is sad for these ladies is that they think that the smallest things that a guy do for them is fucking amazing. Like this nigga, like he did magic, y'all. He performed a whole trick. Bitch, he cooked you dinner. You ain't okay, you ain't never had that before, but my goodness. You ain't gotta get on. I, don't make yourself look foolish. Don't make yourself look foolish. You ain't got to get on and tell the world that you ain't never had nothing. That ain't nobody ever treated you right. I'm glad that you getting it now. I'm, I'm glad that you starting to figure out that there is better for you. That you deserve so much more. But don't get on and show the world your stupidity or your lack of anything. Mmm, baby, it smells so good. Hey, Miss Liz. Hey, baby girl. I'm telling you. It, the one thing, the one thing a man don't like, I'm sorry, this is me speaking from my experience, is a needy bitch. You real needy right now. Don't be needy. Don't be. You strong. Stand on your two feet. Show him you can handle anything with or without him. And that could only make your situation better. She gave him the... Nadia's a fool, y'all. Nadia. She gave him the goodies. Then get a reward with the meal. <laughs> I, I, I technically, I really don't, it's just my opinion. I don't think nobody, none, none of them should be in a relationship until they learn that they can um, deal with self. Till they learn that they can be alone with this person right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> toy, toy. Toy said, I saw that, and I was like, he cooking food with your food stamps, and he ain't made you a plate. But Toy, technically, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know where that food came from. You know what I'm saying? But I'm playing devil's advocate. You know, I'm trying to be two, three, six, four candy. These ladies need to also take ownership in the part that they play in these relationships, not working out and not just, and, and, and candy, you know why they don't work out? Because they never took the time to focus on working on themselves, self-love and taking care of their priority, which is their children at the time, which is their children. You need to take care of you and them first. You, you can't be nothing for nobody if you don't love you. Basically, what the men are at that time is just a fucking distraction to keep you from thinking about you. What you need to do in your life. Well, look at the men. They were candy. Mm. Miss Mugget, they jump off doing a lot of things that they, 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 I've heard it said and I agree with that part. You can't do husband shit for a new face. They have to earn that title. They have to be my fucking husband. <laughs> you have to be a husband to get the benefits. You already getting the snatch, the punani, the vajayjay, the box, whatever you want to call it. You were alone for 10 years, Gina. Are you alone now? I mean, and how did you deal with those? I mean, that's something people, women need to know. How did you deal? How were those 10 years before you got married? 
And, and, and you know, people forget that you have to wait for that person that God sends to you. You, and, and I might, I might not can talk on this topic, y'all, because I've been with this, with my husband since I was, I've spent more, more time with my husband than I have with my mother and father. You know what I'm saying? That I've spent more of my life with my husband now than I had being raised by my mother and father. And I just thought that was the deepest shit. You know, we have <laughs> been together longer than I lived with my mother and father. You know, that's so deep to me. Your boyfriend wasn't allowed. But again, that, that takes you back to how you were raised, Nadia. That takes you back to what you learned at home and now what you're introducing into your family. Think about it, ladies. It's 30 people in this house. Think about it. You are, all you're doing is replaying what you learned at home. That's all you're doing. You are repeating with your parents or your mom or your single mom or your single dad did for you at home you are now introducing that into your household you either are single also or you are with your husband introducing the things that you did growing up you know what i'm saying but a learning experience being alone with your thoughts is a motherfucker Hey, LaQuinta. As though you should, Gina. I've always said. I've always said, and I mean it if it had to happen. I've always said if I wasn't with my husband, because we had stair-step kids. All of my kids are by my husband. If I wasn't with him, guess what? It would just be me, my batteries, and my vibrator, because I am not introducing any other man into my children's lives. I refuse to bring them or put them in a situation where something could go wrong. What, what, what if I brought a guy into, to, to my, into my home with my five young children and he was a, a Chester, he was a molester or he was not right. You know what I'm saying? I would not, put my kids in, in, in a situation like that. I'm responsible for them. I created those lives. I'm the one that have to protect them on a daily basis. Amen, Gina. My, my parents have been married for 50 years. I'm with you, Candy. Uh, why? Why are they? Because nobody ever taught these women, because they are women, nobody ever taught them that you should respect yourself, your kids. Nobody ever taught them how to act in certain situations, what's right or what's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ever taught them that. Let me tell y'all. My daddy didn't fucking play. My when when my husband came to pick me up for our first day job, he pulled up the house, pulled up to our house and blew the horn. Blew the horn. I got ready to go for the door. My daddy said, You better sit your ass the fuck down. You run to nobody's horn. When somebody blew a horn, that's some disrespectful shit. You don't run to the door and go out to the car when some dude blows the horn for you. No. He gets out the car, knocks on the door, comes in the house, and introduces himself to your family. That's the way my house was. Ms. Brown, I'm, I'm with you, but I don't even consider those high standards. What kind of man are you, man? And that was the first or the last time my husband ever did that. But see, the thing is, he never had dealt with a female who 
was raised, I guess, raised right or raised with morals or, you know, he never encountered a family that was involved in, in, in their children's lives. He probably had those random hoes back in the day that when he blew the horn in that caddy that they gonna come running. No, baby, my daddy had Cadillacs my whole mm -hmm. life. That's nothing to me. <laughs> and daddy was like, you better not budge. <laughs> yes, Nadia, yes. <laughs> hey, Kels, yes. And that was the first and that was the last time he ever blew the horn at True. <laughs> and my daddy had a whole conversation with him. Sure did. Sure did. Like, buddy. <laughs> Not this one right here. Thanks, Kels. Thanks, boo. Um, so I, I yeah. no changing them now it, it may be too late it may be too late thank god my dad showed me what to accept and not what to accept from a man and that's what your father is there for you have you think about it for those who've had who were raised by our fathers who had them in our lives in the home growing up um we tend to go out and look for a man that is similar to your dad. Have I mean, have you ever thought about that? Like my my husband has a lot of lot of values that my daddy has. Hi, Kelly. They don't want to change. They don't want advice. No, they don't want advice. Cash apps gives them or um what people think of it you know miss brown what miss brown say i'm sorry did i miss it pet peeve y'all i mean it's it, and the sad thing is just like they repeat in the cycle they are teaching their kids to repeat the cycle it is it's, it's it's unfortunate my daddy was the first my daddy that i can recall was the first person besides my mama that told me i was beautiful you know what i'm saying i got that at home i the the first person that, that it what when i became a teenager went out of the world it wasn't a dude that told me that i was beautiful that that made me feel like mm. no my daddy made me feel that way <laughs> and my sister you know what i'm saying that's something that should be done at home so when they go out in the world it ain't you know it, it don't make them moist when a nigga say you're beautiful no you should know this it should be it should be ingrained in you That's I, I I agree, Miss Mugger. And in some cases, they have no choices in the situation, and that's sad. I was raised by my father. My mother was absent growing up, wasn't even allowed to date as eighteen. So why, uh, Jazz's mother allowed her to date Megan? <laughs> Megan, Miss True is like a beautiful mentor. <laughs> I am not. I am just me. And it's just some shit that I feel that is common sense. Know what I mean? But but, but what I'm going to say is, damn, what, what, what did somebody just say? I want to talk on that. Um, the, the, make, make it. The whole, like, I was 16 years old. They couldn't go past the den. They could not go past the den in my house. I had... Three brothers in the house. Oh, no. Uh-uh. You ain't getting no panties up in this piece. <laughs> it's not going down. I love y'all, too. Y'all y'all be coming through for your girl. My father is my best friend. I'm a daddy's girl. Murder. Murder show. But when I had my kids, I became a... I think when you have kids, you fall in love with your mother differently. Like, but I'm a daddy's girl, too, so... 
But yeah, uh uh, you couldn't, and, and that's where it begins. That's the foundation. That's when the seed is planted. When you have somebody to say no at a certain age. No, you can't have a boy go up to your room. You are fucking 16. No, that boy cannot go past my den because I can't see y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We good though. What you say? We good though. I'm just a mommy's baby. And, and that's okay, Kills. You know, that's okay. People bond differently. You know, you you get a different bond with each parent. You have wonderful white. Um, wonderful night. It's my PS4 gaming time. Go ahead, Miss Mother. Get it in. But yeah, y'all. We, we are responsible for our children. We we brought them here. You know what I'm saying? Why not try to start them off right and give them the best of what we can give them? You know, even if, if that's just one-on-one -on -one time between you two. They are... I, I can't say for her, but I wouldn't have never had nobody around my kids. I just wouldn't. I'm too scary. I never let them spend the night over nobody else's house. Ain't no way that I'm going to let some new face take them to school or some new face be somewhere alone with them. Ah, oh, nah. I can't do it. No excuses, though. But apparently her family didn't watch her and allowed her to do what she wanted to do. That's right. It's sad most little girls these days won't know how a real, how real, ain't that sad, Kelly? That is sad. My daddy gave my hubby the death stare. thing <laughs> wasn't too easy. Nadia. My parents were so conservative that not even think of having a call. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't talk to boys on the phone either. No, until a certain age. No, because cause then what are you talking about on the phone? I mean, those are all things that you have to consider. What are y'all talking about on that phone? I need to know. I'm one of them. I'm one of them that would snatch a phone randomly and go through text messages. I'm one of them. Because I want you to know I want you to know at any time that this can go down, Mama Dukes is the poster lady for what the hell. Thank I, you know what? I just thank God that I got what I got the parents that I was given. I do because I have friends that didn't have a ch and it's sad because it's like you don't even you didn't you never had a chance. You never had a chance. Ain't that sad? You never had a chance because of your, where it all started. You never had a chance. Keep them on their toes, right, Miss Brown? Mm -mm. I don't want you to ever think you can send a pic. I don't want you to ever think that you can get a, mess, a message. Don't get comfortable, boo, because I will snatch that phone in your sleep. You could be sleeping. I'll just randomly come up there and get that phone. Why not? I paid a bill. I bought it. <laughs> I just wish I just hope I hope that a bell goes off in somebody's head and they say that and, and they figure out their worth <laughs> they figure out their worth they figure out that their kids need and should have so much more of their time and attention because right now you putting it off on something else you distracted by so many things going on right now y'all it's just it gives me a headache you are uprooting kids from one city one year taking them somewhere else another year um i have never moved seen people move so much in my life. <laughs> mm. 
Bill ain't gonna do that. Bit. Mama Duke saying she loves kids. It's bullshit. To save her grandchildren from dad's. Mm. Yes, love, love. The parents who loved, adored, nurtured the kid, their kids. Hey, Deborah. Hey, hey, hey. How's Vegas? It's beautiful. Is it beautiful right now? What's the weather like in Vegas? Is it hot, hot, dry, hot? But yeah, y'all, we we gotta we have to um, now at that age, the the babies should be the priority. Just my opinion. Did talk to her. Her jazz just gone. Do what she want to do. That's a possibility, Miss Brown. I'm telling you, Kelly, no way. No way, Jose. You are not finna go through my house. No way, what? And you, I'm not finna give you the opportunity to even do anything to my daughter in my house. And no, um, y'all can't go anywhere unsupervised. No. I mean, that's, that's what, that is the type of stuff I think that makes a great person. uprooting children constantly like that unless i was in the military and that is totally something different um gina it really is um you know they don't they're not thinking about the kids they're thinking about themselves and how what they need to do to feel good or feel better or follow somebody or you know it's, it's all just it's all just too much, y'all. But dad setting booby traps. <laughs> no. I'm telling you, as a kid, I stayed in the same house till I was 21 years old. Till I moved out with my husband. I stayed in, I lived in the same house. I don't like moving. But all right, y'all, we've been on here an hour. I've been talking for a while. I need to get dinner ready. So thanks for hanging with your girl. Um, What did I want to say? Oh, I got to edit a video anyways, y'all. I did a clean with me. Um, And I got to go hide the evidence. Hey, baby, if you watching, though, I, you know, I had a good time with y'all. I'm sure so. I just saw, uh, I think TMR just went live, y'all, so. But y'all have a good evening. Happy Friday. Stay safe. Don't let nobody steal your joy. And I will see y'all this weekend. See y'all. Love y'all. Love, peace, and hair grease.